Hi, this is Anita Anderson with Discover Sonoma County Living and we're gonna look at the west side of Santa Rosa, coming up right here. Anita and I'm gonna hang out with you for a little bit while you uh, watch the houses behind me and enjoy the neighborhood. I always figure there's five or six subjects everybody's pretty interested in when they're going to uh, live in a neighborhood or they're considering buying a house. So I'll hit on, um, gosh, schools, transportation, hospitals, local, local employers, and of course home prices, right? I know you're interested in that. So let's start with the schools. Elsie Allen High School is the nearest high school and Roseland Elementary School is the nearest elementary school. And the school district really emphasized to me to have people look on the Santa Rosa School District website to make sure they know where their kids are going to school things have changed. So check out that website and they encouraged me to have people call the school district uh, if you just want to talk to a human and um, make sure you know where your kids are going to school. So that's kind of the December 2020 school update. Transportation is great. You're close to everything. The smart trains right outside your door. Local buses go by all day long. You're seven or 10 minutes away from the Charles Schultz Airport, the Santa Rosa Airport, and uh, and the airporter uh, once that gears up again. As of the shooting of this video, I do not know if the airporter services are running. I don't believe they are, but it's fantastic when it is. I've been taking it for 30 years. You get on the Santa Rosa Airporter and you don't have to park at the airport. So um, it's great, great clean bus, and they drive you right up to your, uh, where you're gonna take your get your plane. So uh, I hope they're up and running um, soon next year. And uh, so that's kind of transportation. You're gonna love this area, especially if you have to go to work and you're not working from home, you're three minutes from the freeway on ramp. So it's great. And you're close to downtown Santa Rosa. So if you need to do business down there, banking and things like that, you're just zip up the road here and you're gonna be uh, happy. It's uh, really, really close and convenient. Um, hospitals are close by, so if you ever have to go to the hospital, um, there are uh, no hospitals on the west side of town, they're all on the east side of town, but they're super close, especially because we're near the freeway. So that's really cool. All the shopping, um, grocery stores are right at your front door. The big box stores like Costco, and Best Buy and Target and all of them. They're all within seven or 10 minutes as well. So you have all of that Trader Joe's right out your door practically. And uh, let's not forget our great Sonoma County grocery store, Oliver's, is literally like just two minutes out your door if you live in this neighborhood. So shopping, everything you need is right, right, right close to you. And let's talk about the actual, actually before I go on to that, if you are taking a new job, you're getting a new job and you're working for Medtronics or Keyside or Amy's or Kendall Jackson or the county or the hospitals or any of the other big employers in the county or this city, uh, you'll be happy because it's easy to get to work if you're not working from home. So they're all pretty much based here, and you, uh, if you ever have to run to the office or things like that, they're not far away, just not even 10 minutes. Maybe give it 10 minutes, but it's pretty close. So um, all the big employers uh, here in town are close to your front door. Now let's talk about the neighborhood. So this southwest side of town is 60s, 70s, 80s houses. Um, a lot of the homes need fixing up, some don't. There's a lot of change going on here. So a lot of the homes uh, that are smaller and maybe more 60s homes are getting purchased by investors or people that are buying their first rental property or first time buyers that just wanna fix up a house and buy the first house. That's a lot of what goes on in the purchasing on the west side of Santa Rosa. Now the interesting part is it's really quite a mixture. In the last 15 years, a lot of new houses are mixed in between and those houses are in so the older houses are in the five six five hundred thousand five sixty five seventy five you might find a house below 500 in this neighborhood it might be a one bedroom or a two bedroom one bath 
Uh, it might not be very fancy. It might be a great rental property. Um, they exist in this side of town. So you kind of have to keep an eye on it, especially these days. I anticipate prices may go down as more investors sell off their investments. Not quite sure about 2020, but it could happen. So just a wee bit down the road here are, is a big chunk of all the new building going on. Tons of new building. Starting in the 650s uh, price range for the most part, but there's a lot of affordable housing and townhomes and condos and, and, uh, and building like that going on within 10 minutes of, of what you're looking at right here. So if you're looking at the mixed side of town that's got the old and the brand spanking new, uh, here it is on the southwest side of Santa Rosa. So uh, it's a great place to kind of look and consider because the neighborhoods are a changing and they're changing fast, mostly due to the new builds, but a lot of people coming in and buying the older homes and fixing them up. So it's a great place to do that. If you wanna know any more information, my contact information is right below here in the comments section, along with all my free giveaways, like a free buyer's guide and relocation guide and information on the Homes for Heroes program, which I always emphasize because I love giving back to my heroes. And if you're a first responder, a doctor, a, a dentist, a veterinarian, a retired or active military, you can participate in the Homes for Heroes program. So check that link below and, um, and read about it and call me or get on their website and register because whether you're buying or selling a house, you get a big check from me like that pretty one right behind me after your transaction closes. And in Sonoma County, that can be three and $4,000. And that could mean a new couch, a new refrigerator, new outdoor furniture after you've purchased your new house. So just check out the Homes for Heroes program. It's pretty cool. This is Anita with Discover Sonoma County Living and Keller Williams Real Estate here in Santa Rosa. If you have any questions, give me a call, text me or email me, and I'll see you around the neighborhood.
I hope you enjoyed that video. This is Anita Anderson with Discover Sonoma County Living. Give me a like and hit that subscribe button and you'll get all my future videos. And please leave me your comments below on who your favorite Peanuts character is. This is Woodstock. I'm thinking he's kind of cute. Anyway, it's Anita with Sonoma County Living and I look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood.